piss off out of here. You're talking to an elder. So show a little respect, you prick licker. Respect for you? This is no place for crappers like you. Out, I said. Aye, true. Join the pigs in the pen, that's your place. Are you alright? You'd best leave. Old Maverick ain't a good companion. Unless you're looking for someone to mock. What I saw back there, that happen often? What's the problem? I've bigger problems to deal with than the camp tramps. My nightmares have invaded my waking life. The spectres haunt and hunt me by day. Come on. Nightmares are common. Start at the beginning. One night, I walked to the riverside and sat there, staring at the stars. I must have fallen asleep. I dreamt of my birdie. Her milk-white bosom, her gentle voice. I saw and heard her as if she sat beside me, and then that voice became a terrifying whisper. Curdled the blood in my veins. I opened my eyes, but the spectre remained. It went on talking, hovering over me, stretching its mitts out towards me. I felt a deathly chill. And then it happened. What? Never been a coward. At the fore and fierce in many battles. But a human's one thing. A spectre's another. No other way to put this. I shit myself. Out of fear. Pants right full by the time I got back to camp. Since then they mock me. Call me the Crapper. I didn't see anyone mocking you. Well, except for those two drunks. Then you haven't looked around well enough. I'm the laughing stock of the entire camp. Why did you go to the beach? During Hensel's last expedition, we stayed in a house there. My unit was on the lookout for Demavan's forces trying to cross the river. I just... Wanted to recall the old times. So you took part in the campaign three years ago? Took part? I barely escaped with my life. Leva, the brothel medic, saved me. Talk to her if you want to learn more. She knows everything about the camp. What time did the Spectre appear? I went to the beach after my watch, so it must have been an hour before midnight. I've no idea how long I slept, but when I reached the camp, it was dawning in the east. I'll deal with the Spectre, but you should know a Witcher's services don't come cheap. My soldier's pay is meager. Got but a few coins in my pouch and some pipeweed. Will you do it for that? All right. We have bigger than horses here. Three years back, it was the home of Malgut, a healer and his family. While he helped us tend the wounded, someone murdered his children. Malgut couldn't come to terms with the tragedy and threw himself into the river. The children were buried behind the house. Their graves should still be there. I'll let you get back to treating all those brave fighting men. Damn it.
You're not the one we seek, though his aura is strong, even on you. Impossible. I watched Maverick wash his pants. Who are you? I'm a witcher, and I'm here because you haunt an innocent man. You've ruined Maverick's life, and it's high time you left this world. Maverick? Innocent? That son of a bitch murdered me and my two sisters, then threw our bodies off the cliff. Our father, Malgat, died of despair. Fortunately, fate has brought Maverick here again, straight into our hands. Revenge shall be ours. I need to find out if you're telling the truth. If your story checks out, I'll bring Maverick here. Have you managed to do anything, Witcher? I went to the house where you and your unit were stationed. Found some interesting things in the cellar. I know nothing of that. And don't wish to know anything. I just want to be rid of that phantom. I can't help you if you don't tell me the truth. If I must. Folks say that old Malgat conspired with the river demons. So much blood has flowed down the Pontar. It's the evil in it that the beings in the river's depths feed on. That's all I know, truly. Have you managed to do anything, Witcher? The Spectres manifest themselves even when you're absent. They've burrowed deep into your subconscious. If I killed them now, they'd return instantly. So I need your help to destroy them. If there's no other way, what would you ask of me? Meet me at the beach, an hour before midnight. Come on, no reason to keep the Spectres waiting. Finally returned, brother. Time to atone for your evil deeds. You shall surrender to us your soul. Kiss my arse, Phantom. You'll not make me shit myself this time. Me and the Witcher will dispatch you where you belong. Naive little Maverick, made a fool of your entire life. Isn't that true, Geralt? What? What are they talking about? The Spectres say you're their brother, and you murdered them three years ago. What do you say? How can you even ask? I'm a soldier, not a murderer! Denying it is not enough. You need to prove your innocence, and I need to know the truth before I make my choice. I never murdered anyone! I'm a soldier! I kill foes, not women! Take your word over that of evil spirits. Now help me. How many more can there be? I'll not forget what you did for me. I did it for coin. Small price for peace of mind. Don't you owe me an explanation? I want to hear the truth. I was born by the very border. General van der Grift understood that I knew every blade of grass here. So he appointed me lead scout. We were based in my family's house. This house? One day, I scouted beyond the river. When I returned, I found my father digging the graves behind the house. What happened? Honor was everything to him. He had brought us up, taught us principles, and then one day, Adernian soldiers arrived and undid all that. Shamed his children. He could not stop himself. 
He swore he did not do it, but there was blood in his clothes. We fought. He fell from the cliff. Why did the Spectres want your soul? Maybe they've no tolerance for patricide. Maybe. Now go back to camp and present proof of your valor. Take back your dignity. <laughs>